So right as soon as I caught it and then I just got like a, like how do you get hit? You're not gonna get hit. You're gonna get the perfect animation. That's, this is the main reason why you wanna blue every pass is look at that, right? Check this out, boom. Like I just got a perfect animation. How are you gonna tackle me? Like how are you gonna knock that ball out? You're not, boom. Like immediately he falls down. <laughs> Guys, I mean, boom. That's why you want to blue passes right there. YouTube, what's going on, boys? So check it out, man. Madden 25 is officially here, and it's a passing year, which is great news because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get a blue on the field every single time you pass. A, if you don't know what a blue is, a blue is perfect accuracy. It's the meter that gives you perfect accuracy with every pass. And I'm going to show you how to do that without having fearless. Let's say you're, you're getting pressured in the pocket, you can still hit a blue and get perfect passing. All right, so I got you, man. I got you. You just got to trust me. And I'm also going to explain why you need blues and what are the advantages of having a blue. It's not just perfect accuracy. It's also perfect animations, okay, which is key too. I'll be able to help you make a clear distinction between the passing types. But without further ado, man, let's hop into it. Let's hop into these settings and let me get you guys squared away. All right, guys, so now we're in settings. Off the bat, I wanna give you one of the best tips. I don't want you guys to miss it, so I'm gonna give it to you first, uh, which is defensive heat seeker assist, okay? Uh, what you can do this year is you can actually change the percentage, okay? Last year, and last year's Madden, I told you guys to, uh, I told you guys to turn this off. I wasn't using it last year and that was the correct call. It was the correct call to not use it last year because defense was good. When defense is good, you don't need that much help. Any help from CPU is not a good idea. But in this year's Madden, defense is pretty bad. I mean, if you play, you know what I'm talking about, but defense is not that great. So the way I see it is everything in moderation. I've been playing on 150% and I've been changing it um, anywhere from like 100, maybe 130. So I'm like, I'm like messing with all of them. I think 200 is a little bit too much. You don't want CPU to, to have that much control over your user. And what Heatseeker Assist is, what it does is basically um, pursuit angles. That's the best way that I can explain it, your user pursuit angles. If you have Heatseeker Assist off and someone's running stretch, then if you hold the A button or if you, um, as you get closer to the running back, CPU will assist your user, okay? usually you would have to hold down the a button or the x button and um it, it'll help with uh, pursuit angles right i think a little bit too much pursuit eh, probably not a good idea but you definitely need help from cpu this year because defense is just so bad a switch stick delay i have it on none okay but let's go back up here i don't want you guys to miss that and so let's just go back up here so i can talk to you about um, my settings for for the passing all right so this is what i have right i have kick i have against wind it's all subjective. Most of you guys are going to have kick with wind. That's cool. Personally, I just like having it against wind. Revamped passing is the newest passing uh, type. And what I can tell you is the pros aren't running this, so I'm not running it. That's the best way I can. <laughs> Look, if the pros are running it, cool. I'm, I'm going to see you. They must know something that I don't. But if they're all, if they're still playing with placement and accuracy, I'm still going to use placement and accuracy. It's just... I'm not, it, all it does is just control the arc of the pass. I I don't see the benefit for it. I, I really don't. So um, that will not be in my arsenal. I can tell you that much. But I've been messing around with small um, or none, okay, on in terms of pass lead. All right, and then you have the reticle speed, right? So whenever you hold, you know, LT, right, the left trigger, that's going to activate freeform. And when you move that reticle speed, that reticle, right, that's the... The speed at which it moves i think six works fine for me some people play at 18 that is purely subjective and depends on you guys all placement is going to do is just give you it's going to give you control of the placement so if you want to pass you know inside shoulder outside shoulder um that's fine you know you can put the ball where you want and you can do the power on it too the only issue is the accuracy is determined by the player ratings so if I'm using a trash QB, placement is just not going to work, right? Because the accuracy is determined by the QB that you're using. So if I'm using Rogers, you can use placement all day and it's all, every one of his passes are going to be accurate. But if I'm using, like I said, a, a trash QB, most likely most of the passes are going to be incomplete. Okay, guys. So obviously you want a blue every pass. 
that will give you perfect animations but the greens are totally cool too so don't if you throw a green that's perfectly fine that's a good pass blue is just basically animation based um but i'm gonna show you let me show you a few things all right so when you come over here right green totally cool right all you want to do is you just want to time that meter it's like a weird it's kind of weird it's like one right it's like a one second like you hold it for one second i can't really explain you'll just have to come in here and mess with it right like boom like i'm holding it for like a second and as you see i got a perfect animation um when i possession catched it right so right as soon as i caught it and then i just got like a like how do you get hit you're not going to get hit you're going to get the perfect animation that's this is the main reason why you want to blue every pass is look at that right check this out boom like i just got a perfect animation how are you going to tackle me like how are you going to knock that ball out you're not boom like immediately he falls down <laughs> guys i mean boom that's why you want to blue passes right there but yeah greens are cool um obviously once you you know start getting in that that yellow zone see not not really the best choice um there's a clip actually that i want to show you john beast versus wesley all right so john beast versus wesley this was last year right in ot um john was that rolling out day off to miss this it's crazy. Mm. stroud rolling right right he was rolling out and he was trying to hit this this receiver except he held it way too long and he was on the run or i don't know what he did but he he missed it he didn't blue it he didn't green it he didn't yellow it. he read it he, you know he did a red first of all throwing cross body is probably he's probably done this a million times so he thought it was fine but mad and fluke gave him the red and what happened is oh, no! boom. i remember watching that and i was like damn like you really got a blue i, I mean it, it's important to to blue most of your passes right because of that right there so that i mean that one bad pass cost john 40k you know and that's just a part of the game i think they were playing for 40k or something like that um but you got to come in here you got to come into practice mode and you got to put in the time i'm telling you right now placement and accuracy is the way that's the way to go man and the more that you get into practice mode the more you'll feel better right so you know one boom I find that, like I said, I find that one is that sweet spot. Let me try to test these animations out. Let's see if I can. There's a blue, boom, right? Perfect animation, right? I don't even know what routes I have on the field. That's a yellow. Yellow was still fine. Yeah, good animations, good pass. And if you've made it this far into the video, man, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Bro, it means a lot. Um, if you're new here, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like. I mean, you don't really know me yet. And, you know, all I ask is that you just come back and check out my channel sometime. Just, just enjoy the content, you know, see what I got to post. Um, and then if, you know, if you're still struggling after all these tips, um, just get better. <laughs> Just get better, bro. Just get better. That's it. Just get better. Nah, but I got love for you guys, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace.